Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today we're checking out some engines, more specifically FADEC engines. FADEC stands for a full authority digital engine control, meaning you have a computer system that controls all of your engine flow, your fuel flow, your RPMs, and all of the above. What this translates to, a lot less workload on the pilot, but also you eliminate a lot of the human error that have been known to cause accidents. So from a safety standpoint, FADEC is what everybody should be flying behind. But anyway, let's get into it. The first FADEC engine we're looking at today is the Lycoming IE2. Lycoming is one of the biggest producers of engine in general aviation. And the IE2 program started a couple of years ago, but because of the demand and the cost of this engine, it's not something that's been mass produced yet. Matter of fact, I only know of two aircraft that are currently implementing this engine into their airplanes. The IA2 has a full power management. Also, it protects itself from overspeeding or overheating. So what you get with this engine is you have a single lever that controls your power input. Everything else will be done by the computer. Your RPMs, your propeller speeds, your fuel injection, everything is done by this engine. Needless to say, you also have 350 horsepower to play with. Now, the early adopters of the IE2 are the Evolution aircraft. Also, Technum is testing these engines in their P2012 models. On the piston version of the Evolution aircraft, the IE2 will cruise north of 200 knots and only burn about 18 gallons of fuel per hour. And you have a maximum operating ceiling of 25,000 feet. The price, $100,000. That is the current estimated price for this engine. Next, we have the UL Power 520IS engine. UL Power is another engine producer in general aviation, and they're geared more specifically towards the experimental industry. The 520IS is a 5.2 liter engine, six cylinders, and it has a power output of 200 horsepower. The engine weighs approximately 238 pounds. So your power to weight ratio is not that bad. One cool aircraft we know who is currently adopting this engine is the two-seater Dark Arrow, and they're promising over 230 knots cruise speed. There's no specific release for the price of this engine yet, but we can assume that it's gonna cost anywhere from $40,000 to about $60,000. Next, we have the Rotax 915 engine. Rotex currently owns 80% of the market share when it comes to light sport aircraft engines. And one of the biggest reasons is because Rotex has been one of the few companies who's willing to spend the time and money to innovate. And the 915IS is no different. This engine has a power output of 141 horsepower. You have full power all the way to 15,000 feet. And I should also mention that this engine is turbocharged. The current flight ceiling is 23,000 feet and you have a full FADEX system. Your power output, your RPMs, your fuel flow, redundancy, everything is handled by a computer. A new aircraft that's currently adopting this engine is the Sling TSI. And this is an aircraft we've featured well on this channel and you all have seen the performance that you can get out of this small engine. The current listed price for the Rotax 915 is $38,000. Number four is the Continental TSIOF 550. Continental is another staple name in general aviation and these guys have been producing engines since the beginning of time. Comparable to the Lycoming IE2, the IOF 550 also has a power output of 350 horsepower. And just like the Lycoming, Continental has yet to find a good market for these FADEC engines, so they're not yet mass produced. These engines can both be used in an experimental version aircraft or a certified aircraft. As a matter of fact, Continental built these engines to put in the Cirrus aircraft, and the experimental version you can test in the Lanterns or any other aircraft that can take the power and weight ratio of this engine. Tested in the Lancer 4P, you can expect cruise speeds at 255 knots and you're burning similar fuel flow at 18 gallons of fuel per hour. The flight ceiling for this engine is 22,000 feet. Now, the price. 
we don't know the price of this engine again because it hasn't been adopted fully yet. But you can expect this engine to cost around the same as the Lycoming IA2 between $100,000 and $120,000. And the last engine we're looking at today is the Audi 3 liter V6 diesel engine. Technically, this is a car engine, but our friends at Raptors Aircraft are currently adopting this engine in their prototype. The Audi engine will have a full ECU and a FADEX system. There are no confirmed numbers yet, but the Raptor aircraft with this engine is expected to cruise anywhere from 230 to 285 knots and you're burning between 7 gallons to 14 gallons of fuel per hour. You should also know that this engine would take both 100 low lead fuel and you can put diesel in this engine. If you know anything about diesel fuel, you're burning less and less per hour. So the expected fuel economy for this engine will blow you out of the waters. Audi being a car brand means this engine is already readily available so you can purchase it at any point. The current price $22,000. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me and make sure you turn on that notification button. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video.